Look at the mess in my truck. Did you look at it? Shit for miles. Hooks, motor, kind of seat, new warehouse fishing rod. And around here, I've baited this up and I've tied these in with a bit of uh, string. Because before you can catch rig, you need crabs. So this is to catch some crabs. Hopefully three is enough. I have got some more, but I don't really want to use them. I want to save them for other fishing. So we'll see how we get on with that. So here we go. I'm using a breakaway sinker and I've placed a swivel on here just so my other swivel that runs up and down it the full length and it goes right to the swivel that comes off my line to my rod which goes to my braid. I've got my hook and I'm also using a number four beak fish hook here. Because I haven't caught any crabs, I'm using one of these fake ones. I don't know how it's going to go, I've never fished one before. These guys here, dunno. I, uh, I was hoping to get a real crab. Fishing for an hour with my net. To be honest, I would have had more chance catching crabs at 1am on a Saturday morning in Buxton Car Park in Nelson. than here, I caught bloody nothing. I bought this three piece combo at the warehouse. Oh shit, no wonder the bloody people went on when I walked out of the store, they still left that on it. That's why the thing went off. Nobody even followed me out. I thought I'm not stopping. Anyway, they forgot to take that off. Uh, three piece, 14 foot, and it's got some fishing line on there, so I'm going to make that up. No crabs in our net still. Our baits are in there, but no crabs. Got something on, I think. She's moving around quite a bit. Oh, it's bloody seaweed. Seaweed down there, I think. Bugger. Crab didn't work, so this time I'm using half a pilchard. Nice cast. That was a good one. It's not a bait runner, so we need to set this. Happy days! One, right there. That's what I wanted. There's the bait. Happy days, it did work finally. Beauty. One crab, right. our bait tied on and that's a good bait to use to catch rig the best you could use possibly you get a chance to catch a fish there epic cast that's the one I wanted I love New Zealand and why would you not awesome check this out my crab is still on there it's 10 to 1 in the morning and nothing's taken it so because nothing's taken my one crab I caught, I can't actually measure the fake bait that I was trying to, the, the rubber one, so I don't know any better. Anyway, uh, my mate Redneck Joe, he's got a shitload of crabs, so we'll join up with him and do some fishing, and can't be any worse than today. It's late, I'm tired, I've given it a long bash, and it's time to go home. You can see the sun's just going down. That's a good time for hunting, also a good time for fishing. I'm just going down to my local beach, down Ruby Bay, and gonna connect up with my mate. Try and catch some rig. Right, I got my mate Joe behind me. Over there, redneck Joe. He's got his dogs at my place, and I want to show you the setup I've got. I've got a bait catcher that some good bastard gave me. Cheap surf caster from the warehouse one of these and it's got a sliding system there with my trace there's my hook and there's my crab tied on so basically got a wee cut there with my knife and just gone round and round so it stays on gonna hoof that out because rig love crabs
My son's sitting over there, and Joe's got his rod there, and no one's had a bite yet, just waiting. The GoPro makes it look a lot lighter than it is, it's actually quite dark now. Oh, cool. How's it feel? Normal. Normal? Not that big. Not that big? But I have been pretty long before. Well, it's good to know they're in here. Yeah. It's come alive. Oh, it's only a... Only a wee one. It's a wee one. Wee rig, is it? Just a little rig. You're a lot bigger than that, eh? Oh, yeah. Come on, little fella. Easy to use for flies, eh? There you go. Yeah. Down a second. Turn loose. The whole first rig for the night, but not a not a keeper. That, that was another. Oh, there we go. Bite again. He's having a play with it. He's just having a play. Fuck! I think we've got him now. Oh shit! Yes, we got him. We got him. Yeah, we got him, mate. Be good if he was half decent. He's still on there. Let's see what we got on here. Come on in. Here we go. He's still on. Oh, he's starting to play ball now. This is. Uh, oh yeah. Good. Yeah, not bad. Oh yeah, there we go. Not a baddie, mate. Not a baddie at all. Not a baddie. Is he coming on the breakers? There he goes. He's a good one. He's a good one. He's a beauty. Here he comes. Yeah, mate. Get him, Joey. Don't let snaps on your lot. Oh, that's a good one. That's a cracker. Holy shit, that's a beauty! That's a ripper, mate! Wow! I mean, it hooked him real well. Well, I'll let him, let him take it, eh? Oh, he's gone down oh. his throat. Oh, yep, we might do some surgery on him. Yep. Yep, hey, cool! Big shout out to Gerard for the shirt. Thanks, mate. Love it. I've got two boards here because one's not enough. Also, shout out to Chris Wong for the hat. I want to thank my mate Redneck Joe for trunking this. This is already trunked. That means tail off, head off, and bleed on the inside, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, I was busy uh, changing my nappies. I'm not joking you, heads as a cunt. Anyway, uh, while I was doing that, he, uh, he trunked it all out because he's a good bastard. Thanks, buddy. Done. That's our, our spine, our cartilage, dog tucker. Now, some of you might have already guessed what I'm going to keep this here for. What am I keeping that for, guys? Anybody guessed? I won't say it yet. Have a think about it. I'm not throwing it away. I'm keeping it for something. And I'll be keeping it in the fridge. I think I've missed a skin at the end there. Yeah, I stuffed that piece up. If you do stuff it up like I've just done, what you do is you start at the other end. Has anybody guessed what I'm using this skin for yet? Put a wee nick in there, this is a bone there anyway, and just uh, grab it. This here, and you'll get the skin off a piece of cake at this end here. We don't do this professionally, we don't do this. Here's our skin. If I did it all the time, I'd do it with that stuff and get up. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? 
One, two, three, four. It's gonna make a great mango fish. Five, six, that's seven nice, nice bits of fish. That looks pretty tasty, eh? Gifts for people on a plate. That's my shark skin. I'm going to put it into here. I'm not going to salt it because I'm actually going to freeze it. So, did you guys guess what the shark skin's for? Before I say it, it's for wasabi. It's to grind wasabi. I've never done it before, but that's a traditional Japanese way. If you Google what's the favourite food in New Zealand, you'll get either white bait, hamburgers, pavlova, but also fish and chips, or as us Kiwis like to call it, fish and chips. I'm on a keto diet, so I don't eat chips, but today I'm going to be naughty. And I'm going to make chips out of yams. It's sort of like a potato, but it's sweeter. So that's going to be my fish and chips. Fresh egg out of my chicken house. Nice egg wash going. I want to have fillets that are like the ones you get in the shop, a little bit, like the fish and chip shop. That's why I'm going to cut it that size there. My father used to be a ranger in Fjorda National Park on a vessel called the Renown. He was the marine engineer on that boat. He was the ranger, he was a skipper, and he was also the chef. And one thing he taught me about making fish and frying fish, because he caught fish and lived off that, was when you put it in the batter, he made a batter, I'm just making it wash, always make sure the fish is dry. When you put it in the pan, always make sure that the fish is separated from each other to ensure it gets the maximum heat. Another thing he said was that doing it in beef dripping he found was the best. He had different methods and different ways that he worked out over the years and I sort of copy him a little bit. The plant I'm using is dill, it's my favourite one for fish. So we're going to do a mixture of egg, wash, dill, salt and pepper. Pretty basic and some garlic. I'm doing my chips at the same time and I'm going to do them in ghee. You can make your own ghee but I like it's just easier. Probably about that much in the pan. What I want with my plant is I want to take off the bits that are actually looking like they are the most unhealthy. There's one that's broken there because I keep the plant for further stuff you can come off to. Mmm, smells good. Smells really good. That's our chips. Yams take a year to grow, so they're quite expensive. That's why I grow my own. Right, the pan is smoking. So, into the ghee. Just gonna go in, just like that, into the pan. Stir up. Take the fish, put in first, on top, and then a little bit of dill, like that. No flour, no salt, salt can go on later. Just egg wash, put you in there like so. Then our dill on top. I've actually taste tested the chips, and they're pretty well done. Pretty good. Garlic. Straight off some of that fat. Not that I mind a bit of fat in my tucker. That is cooked with dill. We're going to put the remainder on fresh. Salt. And pepper. I think that's. Uh, going to be a great way to break me fast today. Well, hats off at table. This video could be considered a little bit misleading because I've done it sort of semi-keto styles. This is not keto food, this is carbohydrate. God, I missed that. But 
in such a small amount of once you're on the out of ketosis. And the traditional crunchy batter, of course, I haven't used that. I've just done an egg wash with the dill. And as you can see, I've had a naughty wee taste already. And I can tell you it's it's just a, a tent. Oh. Oh. Not too dry. And that's the thing with fish. Don't overcook it. So easy too. Mmm. Garlic. Always goes well with fish. I mean, garlic goes with everything, don't it? Anyway. It's only my way of doing it. Not necessarily the best way. You could, of course, have a tomato sauce. Because everybody has their fish and chips with tomato sauce. Mmm. Sweet garlic. You could do a number of different things. Smash a salad down with it. Have fried tomatoes and even egg. This is really nice. Try uh, chips out of yams. They're quite sweet. I'm going to turn to this. Thanks for watching. I'll be bringing a lot more fishing, catching cooks. The great thing about New Zealand is that we, we hunt in the winter and we fish in the summer and we're going to summer now. Be good, can't be good, be careful. And thanks for watching. Smash the like button if you're still watching your mate then, well done. And good luck with your own fishing. The next video I'll show you how I set the actual setup to catching rig and how we do it. And I'll show you the whole thing, hopefully it's not dark. That's the problem because mostly we're, we're fishing at night. So I'll try and catch them in the daytime so I can show you everything. See ya.